Okay, so today, right now I want to just show you how to make a gallery within your blog. And here's a great example of how Erin put uh, pictures for this copycat chic post in this nice organized, what we call, gallery. It's very easy to do, really simple, and just you end up with a nice clean kind of a post. So let's go ahead and make a new post. I should have saved that text and there we go and we'll just say sample here always name it sample gallery so now you have your text underneath you'd probably like to do your gallery you could have text above below you can place your gallery wherever you'd like just as you would with the picture I'm going to go and add media in the little camera icon and I am going to drop and drag uh, pictures that I've already downloaded from Shutterstock into my folder here and this is, um, I'm, I'm doing numbers just to make it easier. So here's a nice number six. Just remember, always title it something that you would be able to find uh, in the future if you're looking for uh, this post, if you want to put in a search in your media library. Because your media library will tend to get very cluttered. And then you're going to go ahead and give it a caption. Oftentimes with um, the gallery, it's nice to have a caption. And you're going to save that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for um, several more numbers. And I'll get back to you when I'm on number one so you don't have to sit with me through it. OK, and now I'm back and I'm on the number two. This is the number two. That's my caption. I'm going to not insert it into post, remember. I'm just going to save it so that we can save it for use as a gallery. And every time I save one of these, the WordPress automatically adds to this gallery. I just have one more to do, so I'm going to tell it that I want to take it from my computer. That gives me this nice little screen where I can dra drag and drop. And here's my last photo for my gallery. One's the number one. Click title. Click caption. And save. And now I have my six photos that I'd like to use, and I just have to decide if I want them to be in this order or in backward order, and that would be where you choose ascending or descending, or you can order the images by the where they are in the menu or randomly, but we're going to stick right now to menu order, and you could always play with that. You can do three columns. I think for this sake, I'd like to do um, two columns. And then we're just going to insert gallery. And this is what it's going to look like on your edit page. Let's go over here and just see if we can get a preview of this. We'll save it first. My auto save isn't working so fast today. It has to be auto saved before you can actually preview it. And we'll just preview it up here. And there it is, a nice gallery with captions, organized in two columns, and this is um, in order of the first number that we put in. Now the one thing that it's missing is the picture here, which is important, especially for excerpts. Not so important for the way the post lays out here, but important for excerpts. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. And we can use one of the pictures from the gallery, or we could use another picture, so I'm going to go Hit, click on my little camera icon. I'm going to pull a picture out of the media library. Um, and let's go ahead and use the number five. We'll show that. It already has its caption. I'm going to insert that as a thumbnail into the left, insert into post. And there you go. Now, if you wanted to make this smaller, that's a little large with the, uh, the caption, the way it looks there, you could go ahead and just shrink it percentage-wise. And you could do that with any picture at any time. And that made it a little bit, a little bit smaller. And again, we're going to save the draft. And then we're going to take a look. Both those previews should be working. For some reason, there's a little stick on that one today. So 
this is what you end up with. And once you were to add the first couple lines or the first line here as in your excerpt section, this would be the picture that would show up um, in your excerpts in your recent posts. A relatively easy thing to do.